I feel like it's those little little eggs because they have so much life in them and it takes up such a small. Oh, you could put. That is brutal, dude. We're gonna have an egg blender in the basement. <laughs> What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Subnautica. Now we still are back in our old world you might be noticing. There's um, there was a bunch of suggestions actually on how to deal with the whole new world load save crap and the video that you guys actually sent to me or the video you guys told me to go look at which is um, can't remember what it's called but it was actually very useful like on how to recover your Subnautica info. The only downside is that where you load saved game or whatever what I, I did it at the very beginning of the last episode and that's like the one thing you can't do. If you want to recover your world in an updated like other world so I'm kind of screwed over there I still have to make another world but it's in the process it's whatever it's it's got to be done I mean I'm not going anywhere on Subnautica that's been made very clear so no matter how many new worlds and shit we have to go through how the hell did I just jump so high did I just boost myself off a fish but yeah there's just there's just there's no way I'm gonna stop no matter what but yeah the new world is under construction so, um, so since I still don't have that already yet, and I still have all this world just about created perfectly, like everything's done the way it should have been, they just, I just had to make a new world. It happens sometimes, you know? Shit happens. So I enabled a few fragments that I didn't actually have already. I had the bioreactor fragment, but it was like, the game wasn't updated enough, so it still looks like this piece of crap, when it's actually supposed to look like this piece of crap, which is much more beautiful. And then the, um, the thermal plants, I've had it before, but it's, um... I don't even know what happened to I guess it's not even a thing you could get now. But yeah, here's what it's actually going to look like. This beautiful thing right here. So these two are what I'm going to get constructing right now. Because I still want to see them, how they look, and just how the beauty explodes from it. Because that's like the magic of Subnautica. Last time we made a nuclear reactor. For those of you who don't know what that looks like. Because that's also pretty damn new. That's in the basement. Right here. Reacting nuclearly. We still have our reactor rods in there. Hell yeah. See, this is a beautiful world. I'm gonna miss it dearly. Like, I will have to recreate it. I guess that's inevitable, though, since it's, it's all the same shit that's gonna be in the new base. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to be needing a buttload of titanium for everything I want to get Welcome done right now. So we're gonna go scavenge for titanium. Oh my god, if you run out of battery. Why the hell is my face so itchy? If you run out of battery, I will kill you. Man, now I haven't tamed a stalker in a while, like a while a while because, well they just turn on you. Does anybody know if they still turn on you that viciously if you stop feeding them? Because I would just love creatures to kind of swim around me, just bringing me metal everywhere I go, but not if they're going to keep attacking me whenever I stop feeding them. It's like, it's whenever shit gets crazy, that's when my memory starts getting slashed and, and that's usually when they attack me as well. And the combination of things getting crazy and getting attacked is just no bueno. Caution. There should be so much more metal around here falling remaining. off this thing. There should just be just tons, man. Unless I've already gathered it all and I'm just forgetting, which is probably what happened. Man, I really am gonna miss this world. Like I put so we got an eclipse coming. I put so much work and effort in this place. Like that's that's happened to me so many times though. Where I put so much work into Subnautica worlds that I have to restart it. I guess that won't be an issue anymore though, as long as I make sure to what like reference that video and not start a new load saved world or whatever it's called. Sweet! Okay, first thing we're doing right now is adding another room to the bottom of this bad boy. Because that's where we're going to power the rest of our stuff. Is that... is that... yeah, see, that's what it's supposed to look like. I don't know what the hell that abomination was before. Ooh, we just made another basement in our base. This place is about to get deep as hell. This place is going to be deeper than a 14th century poem. Okay, we need another ladder. Yeah, I have enough titanium. I definitely don't have enough to construct what I'm trying to make right now, but as long as we could get down here, that's a, just need lubricant. Damn, it's such an easy thing to get. Uh, we could build most of it right now, at least. Holy shit, bio, the bioreactor looks terrifying. Each of these look like some new world order energy harvesting substance. Like we look, anybody remember Doctor Octavius, Spider-Man? It's not that old, but I never know what people remember. I feel like we're at his lab. Oh, come on, is there really a floater stuck to my... Eh, just one little bang on the wall should solve it. There we go. It always gets it off it. Now, one thing that's worth noting, too, this is just kind of completely irrelevant, but something I noticed. The reactor rod. Actually, it's still uranium. There's, um, there's, like, uranium deposits or... Shit, I can't remember what they're called. It looks all like quartz, but it's, like, green quartz, and I think that's... Right now, it's spawning in the blood kelp biome. It's all over the blood kelp biome, and I'm pretty sure that's what they're going to be using to um, make uranium stuff down the line seems like an inevitability 
I'm gonna miss these fish most of all. Not so much that bastard or any of these guys, but that, that jelly ray right there. And this very perverted plants. Oh, I'm gonna miss it all, man. This is so sad. This is... Now we're just giving this world a proper send-off goodbye while looking at some crazy stuff. That's the most we could ask of it. Alright, let's continue that. There we go. Look at this crazy-ass thing. This... Oh, is that like a spot? Sp what? Okay, we gotta get this bad boy going. No idea how to power it. <laughs> I didn't want it to come to this, but it's come to this. Alright, so I remember the last bioreactor. I wonder if you could just put anything in there. Because I think I read somewhere on the, um, the dev page or something that it's just, it's supposed to be able to see so you just put anything in there and it breaks down. But, see, the last bioreactor, this thing right here, needed, um, what are those things called? I can't remember exactly what they're called, but it's the giant mushrooms out in the jelly shroom biome or the jelly tree biome. I think that's it. Those things, you combine them with creep vine samples and those the the caps of the mushrooms and that's that substance or whatever it is you use to power this thing but i don't know if that's still exactly what's going on since it doesn't give the uh, option to make the ingredients when you click on it so it's anyone's guess now we could just get downstairs hell yeah if you could just put anything in this that would be awesome oh it seems to be powering it dude oh shit look at that it's turning on you can't just put anything in there that is awesome See, this makes more sense. The last bioreactor bio was, um, it was cool, but it wasn't that useful because you had to go down to the jelly tree biome to get those damn things in the first place. This is cool. Oh, what an awesome way to power the base. And you could just do it without any worry. Any, anything. You can undo you, perfect. And it's nighttime, so our solar panels on the roof aren't doing anything. So energy, any energy we get right now is completely due to the bioreactor, I believe. Correct? Hang on, let me just make 100% sure that this thing is immobilized. Not producing any more energy. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh my god, I swear to god if I lost my things. Woof! Oh, you can't take those out of there either, though. Alright, we'll just disable you a bit. There, it's definitely not drawing energy now. The bioreactor, it's like it's barely getting anything out of it. I feel like it would be the all-around weakest form of energy, though. Just a gradual... You would need a buttload of these for sure, dude. So many of these. But you could. You could have one... You could just have a giant tower building going down composed of just multi-purpose rooms. Just with so many of these. And they, they barely cost any resources. And they're the easiest things to power in the game. But you would need about 50. Let's get you back going good looking. You're still my favorite because you run off reactor rods and that shit's just hardcore, son. That's like some Iron Man stuff right there. Alright, so next thing I want to make, which sucks because I don't know where a vent is. Like one of those heat vents. I'm not sure where one is located around here. They seem to be random spawning whenever I generate a new map. Like they always, they're always located in different areas. But it's this thing right here, the thermal plant, which just looks crazy cool. Requires titanium ingot, lubricant, and two magnetites, which, um, titanium ingot, self-explanatory, it's ten titanium magnetites. Is this little thing, wait, what? Mercury, they have the same, they have the same image, but this little thing, it could pretty much found, like, any generally really deep biome. My location I always go to is the blood kelp biome, it's everywhere down there. Dude, everything I have has no battery. I'm just gonna try and make it last so I don't have to refill it, that's... It seems like the all-around- Oh, lag spike! This seems like the all-around best way to go about this. Is that just a hunk of metal, or is that something even crazier? Oh, it's just a quartz, you dirty backstabbing bitch. I thought you were something awesome. All right, that's pretty much all we need anyways right there. Actually, you know what? Let's just get you out of here, you useless. Okay. It's weird how a piece of creep vine takes up as much inventory as an entire hunk of ship. So weird, I grabbed a couple mushrooms too. I was gonna test if those work out on the bioreactor as well. I feel like it definitely... I wonder if it'll only run specifically off creep vine. I feel like it should run off anything that's like bot bio, you know? Like it could even run off these weird ass things if we had the the amount of them on us. I don't even need two of these, but I don't want the inventory space. Get, get out of here. It's done burning through a creep vine yet because we can test this bad boy out. It ever... Yeah, it took us down deep enough. Dude, look at that thing go, man. It's really chopping them shits up. Oh, I put the mushrooms away. Got a story of my life right there. 
always putting mushrooms away. You know what? You know it'd be crazy. It could run off eggs. That is brutal. Oh, you could put anything in there. Run off copper? No, no, no. It's got it's got to be organic. But still, you could put eggs in there. So I guess it just powers like it just powers different amounts of energy based off what you add into the bioreactor. But I mean, you could add some pretty crazy shit there. I have a grassy platius egg. Should I pop that in there? What? Ooh, we could put these in there. There's just so much table coral samples. That'd be fun one day to just test out what makes the most resources. I feel like it's those little little eggs because they have so much life in them and it takes up such a small. Oh, you could put. That is brutal, dude. We're gonna have an egg blender in the basement. <laughs> That's pretty damn hardcore right there. I don't know if we're ready for that sort of badassness. Give me a snack. This base spoils me. It really does. I never have to worry about anything when I'm in here. It just takes care of you in every way, shape, and form. Wait, 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 wait. Damn it. Okay, we have enough for the thermal plant. Yay, that's all I wanted. I'll bet these tentacle seeds work wonders as well, man. Just so much stuff. Now I just want to burn everything in the power reactor. It's like all I want to do with my life now. Alright, cool. So, uh, you know what sucks? I've seen so many vents just around here just gradually while I gather resources. Oh, lag. Holy shit. But that now that I'm actually looking for them, they're going to be impossible to find. Alright, there we go. I cheated and went straight to the heat signature. Like, it was on there. I feel like it should be hot enough, right? Oh, damn it. I don't have my freaking thermometer on me. Oh, come on, man. This is the time to have a thermometer on you if ever there was a time. See, this is clearly not where we're supposed to be. I feel like this should, should be a hot area, though, right? Should be heated here. Screw it. It's got to be heated. Right? At least a little. Oh my god, I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, you dirty bitch. Don't even. I'll slice you in three, homeboy. Oh, they look so scary when they're just above you. You know what? Thermal plant nonetheless. Get placed. Of oxygen Get remaining. placed. You have a very small amount of time. All right, there we go. Is it, is it creating energy? I can't tell. We're... Woof! Okay, hang on, we gotta go back for air. Oh, 2% energy. Wow, we're really scrounging right now. Woohoo! I barely got to it in time. You dirty bitch, she totally tried to get to us. There you have it, we're rapidly losing health, but there, right there, that is, that is the future of energy in Subnautica. These three things right here. Now I have to get back because we're dying. <laughs> it's, it's never a good thing, I hear. Alright, go back to six so I can see what's going on. Nice. Alright, well I had to get the hell out of there, I was dying for, for multiple reasons, there was multiple things kicking my ass down there, but I figured since, um, since Welcome while we're in the spirit of just checking out some of the awesome things Subnautica has on the way just right before I, I have to start over again, which is such a, just, god, it just happens so often. It won't happen again though, because now we know the failsafe, but um, I figured one more thing we should take a look at right now, just because it's super cool and it's like minor details that's just gonna make the game awesome. Oh, a wall shelf! All right, let's go on down to an emptier room. Emptier. We need a goddamn elevator so I can put the floor. There was, ah, this room's pretty, ooh, empty room is hell over here, our scanner room. All right, so first thing, oh, wow, dude, check that out. Single shelves and wall shelves. Donde esta put thou? Yeah, if that's, if that's not what a wall shelf is for, I don't know what it is. Can we put shit in the wall shelf? Maybe just not yet. Not an option yet. Hopefully, hopefully it's an option in the future, though. Or, oh great, I put it too high, so I can't even reach what's up there. Who am I doing that for? I'm only inconveniencing myself. Okay, so there's wall shelves and single shelves. Also, we have, ooh my god, look at that bar table, bar table. Everybody, getting fancy. We're about, crap. We're about to develop the ability to um to eat dinner by ourselves. Isn't that a wonderful thing? We haven't gotten to do it since we were alone on Earth. Now that we're on this alien planet, it's never seemed more fitting. If you're wondering why I'm still taking the time to gather resources, it's because I do love Subnautica and I'm clinging to any realism that I could hold on to. Now, where the hell? Oh, we are so dead. We are so dead. All right, where? Shut out the goddamn flashlight! I saw some more metal around here. You cannot fool me. We might not even need it. Let's get out of here. Boo! -boo! Yeah, see, you never give up, never surrender. Some Justin Bieber lyrics in there somewhere, I don't know, shit. Okay, so, oh, there's metal right under us. The worst explorer there ever was and ever will be. 
Nevertheless, we have all the titanium we need now to construct all the bar equipment we'll ever need to eat alone for the rest of our lives. We should be focusing on some way- no, you know what, I feel like every creature on this planet would suck. You think there'd be some creature on this planet that's like close to evolution, not like- just more down the evolutionary tract, I mean. Like, does anything here even have an actual language, or is it all just growls and general noises and shits? I feel like there should be some sort of- all, I don't know, some kind of intelligence here. We went too far down, we're in the crap grinder. There we go. There we go, okay. So now that we have all this titanium, we, can make, we already made a good bar table. Trash cans? We don't want to litter. We are the only one on this planet, so if, like, rescuers show up and it's all shitty, they're gonna look right at us. Where is this? There's so many things here that don't make sense to me. Why does it need to say trash if we, we, we know we're the only ones on this planet? And where the hell did all this fast food shit come from? If there's a vending machine, that might be explaining it. Alright, vending machine. Okay, we're just getting funky right now with all the things we're gonna be able to create, aren't we? Things are just getting gnarly. Some glass. Get the damn glass! We've never needed anything more than a vending machine. This might be top priority right now. <laughs> this is definitely, this is definitely top priority. Okay, get, get downstairs. Perfect. Alright, vending machine. Make my day. I wonder what kind of snacks it has. This is a climactic moment right here. Oh my god, it's a perfect vending machine! Look at all this junk food. I always thought it would be more futuristic. Lab trash can. Somehow different- oh, is this like to, to dispose of like, especially a biohazard shiz? And a- I guess it's just a lab counter. Hoo hoo hoo! Look at that fancy, this is a big ass counter right here. You can do all kinds of laboratory stuff. Now there's no general benefit right here to the vending machine, is there? Or to the trash cans, or to the counter. It just pretties the place up a bit, sprices it up, makes it pants- I, This looks like a very shitty vending I picture- Like look how clean all our buildings look. Look at our scanner room. I never even completed you. You trash. <laughs> so there you have it guys. We're moving in all kinds of directions. We have futuristic ways to dispose of energy, and we have vending machines from the 1960s. Alright guys, so I think this just about wraps up this video. Shit is getting weird. I feel like I somehow cross-mutated Gmod and Subnautica and now I'm just playing it out, out loud for you guys. But either way, it's pretty damn awesome. We have so many ways now to construct energy. There's such a dark background to show this up against. So many new ways to construct energy between these three. All awesome. The bioreactor might be my favorite because you could put anything in there. That's just awesome. I'll put my disobedient pets in there. And then all the appliances, these things right here, and then the miscellaneous, all this schnaz, it's actually looking really fun. Subnautica does not seem to be slowing down on the updates anytime soon, so that's exactly why I'm not stopping my survival series. Well that and it's awesome. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. If you guys had a good time watching, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the survival series. Peace!